for child support for the time that I had both children, just like when she had both children, she was paid child support. I was only asking for the same fair treatment. I submitted the paperwork back in the middle of 2023, but in my opinion, I feel that because I'm a male in Texas and I was just trying to put a female in Texas on child support, the system just did what they wanted with the paperwork because when she filed, it was within 60 days, my paychecks were garnished. A hearing, contested hearing, um, uh, but we have, um, we just have one issue, Your Honor, uh, that parties have come to an agreement on al almost all of it. Um, your Honor, uh, their um, agreements is um, split custody, where what does um, that mean? Uh, where uh, there's two children, uh, one child Mia uh, lives with dad, and one child Dominic uh, lives with mom. Parties agreed for joint major conservatorship as to Mia. Um, um, Dominic, the prior order. Um, um, where both children with with mom, uh, there already um, exists uh, joint managing conservatorship for Dominic. Um, so as to Mia, joint managing conservatorship as to Mia. Um, well, as to Mia and Dominic. What was the prior? What was the prior order for Mia? Um, the prior order that has both kids joint managing conservatorship is from. Um, 2013 it was signed on september 11 2013 and we ask that you take judicial notice of that order i take judicial notice of the prior order it looks like uh, the mother was appointed a conservator with the right to determine the primary residence with, no with the right to determine no joint managing conservators it's like a standard possession order Looks like his name was totally different. Um, Agreed also to uh, geographic no restrictions, just like the 2013 order. Okay, um, testimony. Mm -hmm. um, the um, the health and dental, they've agreed that mom will uh, carry through another source on both children, Dominic and Mia and she's not seeking reimbursement. Um, the parties have also agreed as of today, since one child lives with dad, one child lives with mom, uh, that as of today, no, no, no child support be paid at, like an offset. And also um, at this time, um, the state abandons its child support arrearage request. Hold on one second. Okay. Um, so you're just not requesting a judgment? Is that what that means? Correct. We're abandoning it. Um, in our notice of change of status, we um, we asked for child support judgment and we're abandoning that request. Okay. Um, and that's the extent of the agreement, Your Honor. Um, I'd call... Um, Okay, well, I have I have a few questions, but before we get to that, what is the issue? The issue is um, child support in, um, for the two years um, or a year and a half, and, and I'll ask um, Mr. Gambino um, that um, he had both kids. He's wanting um, child support during that time. Those That's the issue. That's the sole issue for him, not for us. Okay. Um, I have a few questions before you start taking testimony. Um, so it looks like these children are about two years apart, year and a half apart. So there's going to be time when the oldest one emancipates and it will just be the younger child. Are they agreeing to no child support during that time too? Just to clarify, so there's no, oops, I didn't think about that when they leave today. No, they're, they're not agreeing to that. Um, um, they're just agreeing at, at this time that there'll be no offset uh, or so child is that the dispute? Is the dispute for in the past or in the future? I'm, I'm confused. The past. So both the past and the future, there's no agreement on. Correct. And then the I future, think- mm -hmm. The future they could always modify. The issue is the past. What are they agreeing to write in the order today? Um, they're, they're in agreement not to put child support because they each have 
of one child in their possession. How old is the oldest child? Um, he's going to be 18 in December, but doesn't graduate until next year. Okay, so given that that's not so far away, I, I, but rather than put a modification like on next year's docket, why don't we confirm what they're doing? Um, and then Mike, I have a question about visitation. Um, I'm not sure what the visitation was for Dominic, but assuming that each has a standard possession order, the children won't be together ever because they'll both have the first, third and fifth weekends. Is that what they're doing or did I misunderstand? It's it's going to be the split um, standard possession order. I don't know what a split standard possession order is. Is that a standard form? Your Honor, I can elicit testimony as to um, how they want their position access. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess you may proceed with those questions. Okay. You may continue. Okay. Um, Ms. Amanda uh, Le Lefrev. Uh, can you state your name for the record? Amanda Sue Lefebvre. Okay. And um, did you um, hear and understand the agreements that, that I read into the record? Yes. Okay. And, and are you in agreement with that? Yes. Okay. Um, now, which child lives with you, ma'am? Dominic. Okay. And which child uh, lives with uh, dad? Mia. Okay. And and um, you're in agreement as to this split uh, possession? Yes. Okay. And um, uh, what is the um, visitation right now with Mia? Um, we typically run every other weekend with Mia, um, unless... She wants to come more. So there's never really been a, never really a restriction on it. But she'll come every other weekend. I always pick her up and drop her off. Every other weekend. Okay. And that works um, well with um, you and dad? Yes. Okay. And um, now you cover both children through another source, right? Yes, my husband. Okay. And you're not seeking reimbursement for that? Not right now, no. Okay. And ma'am, you have the oldest or the youngest child? I have the oldest child. And when when is Dominic going to turn 18, ma'am? December 30th. Okay. And when does he graduate from high school? It's... I don't know. I, they went back and forth on the graduation day, but it's either the very beginning of June 2025 or the very end of May 2025. Okay. Uh, past witness. Okay, you may call your next witness. Mr. Gambino, can you state your name for the record? Uh, oh, Gambino. Mr. Gambino, I know it's been a second, but did you hear and understand what I read into the record? Yes. And are you in agreement with that? Uh, yes. Okay. Um. Now, Mia lives with you, right, sir? Right. And how old is Mia? She's 16. Okay. And um, you all have agreed to geographic being no restrictions, right? Right. And, and why is that? Because neither of us have a inkling to move out of state or anywhere where it would be um detrimental to the kids and if we did we would discuss it with the other parties and also assist in the visitation like i told you i had thoughts of moving to san antonio over the past two years and if that was happened you know the plan was is for visitation i drive at least halfway or alternate pick up and drop off because i would be the one wanting to move out of this area we've always to the best of our ability tried to compromise as far as our visitation and pickup like when she moved out to Crosby and I stayed in the general area she came about halfway most of the time when it was time to pick up and drop off and then once 
when Mia originally lived with her and Dominic lived with me, we had it alternating every other time, pick up and drop off, or I would pick up and drop off and then she would pick up and drop off. Or if it was a case where we couldn't do the back to back, we would assist one another. So I don't feel that there's a geographic restriction needed because one, again, I don't think any of us are planning on moving crazy out of the area. I like the area I'm in. The kids like it. She likes the area she's in. Her family's, I'm assuming, happy where they're at. And like I said, if there was a plan to move, that would be a discussion. Hey, you know, Mia wants to go to school here. Dom wants to go to school there or whatever the case may be. But as of right now, there's no thought or intent of moving anywhere outside of the greater Houston area. Well, if 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 you're no if you don't have any intention of moving, then why not request um Galveston and contiguous areas? Uh, we don't even live in Galveston. That was when we did live in Galveston. We were sent there. I live in Fort Bend County and I'm not sure what county she lives in, but we were told this case has to go back to y'all guys' county because that's where the original uh order was. Okay. Um, sir, do you have any um, safety concerns? No. Uh, I'm sorry? No. Okay. Um, now, um, right now, the way it is, where you have one child and she has one child, um, you're not requesting any type of offset in child support, no, correct? No, sir. I don't need to pay her for my son, and she doesn't need to pay me for our daughter. We both have a kid. We're both basically out essentially the same expenses of a child in high school. Okay. Um, Your Honor, um, I passed the witness. Okay. Um, I don't understand what the disputes are, but um, the state does not represent either of you. Uh, so I'm going to give you both a chance to speak. Uh, please be aware I don't understand what the dispute is because I haven't heard any evidence of disputes. Um, Ma'am, I would like to know what part of Texas you live in. Um, I have no idea. And um, I guess I'll start with you, ma'am. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to let me know? And again, please do let me know where you live. The dispute he has is that he had both kids for a year and six months um and he wants back pay for that now in junior high i had bubba and mia both for i don't know four months four and a half months when dominic lived with me and then while dominic and mia both were, were with him i still bought all their school clothes their shoes but he's seeking back child support and in the paperwork over here it mentioned medical and dental at which time Mia has always been fully covered. And Dominic at the time, I was told by him, was covered by his second ex-wife on medical and dental. So I did not worry about Dominic at the time. Um, so pretty much he's wanting back support for all of that. Okay. What part of town do you live in, ma'am? Are you in Harris County, Fort Bend County, Galveston County? The other part of Texas. I'm sorry. What part of Texas do you live in? What county? I live, I'm in Harris County where I live. Um, Mr. Gambino, um, is there anything else you'd like to say? Yes, Your Honor. When the original order was put in in 2013, we were still legally married and she had lived with me up until some point in time around the 2012, 2013 mark, when I was put on child support, um, both children resided with me and her, and she lived with me for about six months um, while I was on child support until she relocated elsewhere. Then mm -hmm. fast forward to 2018, that's when my son and daughter said they wanted to come live with me. They lived with me for a couple months, and then my daughter decided she wanted to go back and live with her mom. At that time, we made the agreement, since I have a kid and she has a kid, neither of us need to pay um, child support for any of the children, since we're both supporting one fully. And that's when the original child support 
um, order had came to an end. Now we fast forward to the 2020 um, Second, um, to 2023 school year when my daughter moved in with me. I then had my son and daughter full time. And that's what I was asking for child support for the time that I had both children, just like when she had both children, she was paid child support. I was only asking for the same fair treatment. I submitted the paperwork back in the middle of 2023. But in my opinion, I feel that because I'm a male in Texas and I was just trying to put a female in Texas on child support, the system just did what they wanted with the paperwork because when she filed, it was within 60 days, my paychecks were garnished and it took over a year for my case to even do anything. And that's why we're now at the end of 2024 and I filed for assistance in the middle of 2023. But like I stated, the only thing I'm requesting was just the times that I had Dominic and Mia both living with me. He did decide to move back with his mother around um, Easter this year, that Easter vacation, he had packed his stuff and moved in with mom. So from that point on, uh, I don't wish for any kind of money because she had him just like I had her. But the only thing I was requesting was the times that I just had both children, which was her uh, high school year, her freshman and, and uh, sophomore year. Okay. Um, I don't have a legal basis to do that, sir. Um, there's no arrears in this case, at least based on the pleading, unless arrears have come up since then, and I don't know how they would because the prior order set support at zero. Um, well, that was the paperwork that I filed in 2023 was requesting for child support because I had is, both of them. And if you could let me finish, sir. Um, I only, I don't address paperwork. I'm not the attorney general's office. I address pleading. Um, and it takes time for pleadings to get filed and people to be served. And so 2023 to 2024 is actually not bad um, in terms of time frame for this to happen um, from what I see. But that being said, um, there's there's no offset for me to give you. Um, you were both served with these pleadings. I'm not even sure. We're served, sir. So both of you didn't make an appearance until today. So I can't go back in time to modify anything. Even if I could, it would only be to September because it was only filed in August. Um, so I, I just don't see a legal basis to do what you're asking. Um, I can modify, I can I can approve your agreements, um, but I just, I don't see a legal basis to do what you're asking unless I'm misunderstanding what you're asking. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna make my rendition. I'm gonna approve your agreements um, however, I am going to order a residency restriction for both of you to the state of Texas, and I'm going to approve that Mr. Gambino is the managing, uh, a joint managing conservator with the right to determine the primary residence of Mia uh, within the state of Texas. I'm going to order that Miss. I'm sorry, what was your name again? I know it was an A. Avalos, Amanda Avalos. Avalos. Ms. Avalos um, is the joint managing conservator with the right to determine the primary residence of Dominic within the state of Texas. Um, I guess you're both going to, I'm ordering both of you have standard possession orders. The first part is that you'll all work together um, as mutually agreed. So hopefully you will do that because I do believe these orders will conflict. Um, I'm going to order that Ms. Avalos provide health insurance and dental support through another source. Um, and not order any reimbursement at the time. Um, I'm also ordering neither of you pay child support at this time. Part of why I'm agreeing to that is once Dominic emancipates, you will still have Mia, but she'll be paying for the insurance at that time. Um, so I'm going to order- I have Mia on also. Medicaid already, Your Honor. Okay, so neither of you is well, sir, she, you're, she might have both um, because she's going to be providing insurance through another source, through her husband. Um, there's a priority list in the family code and the priority is parents' job, another source. So her, 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 it's someone here, what's happening? 0.15 inches. 
Is there some reason we're hearing about inches? Okay. Um, so through another source, this is what she's doing, and only then do we get to government medical. So another private insurance always trumps Medicaid. Um, so whether or not Medicaid lets you keep Medicaid, that's between you and um, them, but I'm ordering it through the other source for both children, and I'm recognizing they are abandoning their request for or non-suiting their request for an arrears. And I believe that covers the agreements that were read into the record with that one modification. And so the Attorney General's office is going to draft um, the order based on my ruling in your agreements today, and they'll be sending it to both of you through DocuSign to review and sign off on. Your Honor? Yes. May, may I please have an entry date on this one? Um, what date would you like? How much time do you need? We can do um, November 13, but I can get it I can get it out way before then. I'm setting this for entry November 13th, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. Um, the Attorney General's office will be sending you a copy of this hopefully before that date to review. Um, if everyone reviews and signs off on the order, there's no need to appear that day. Um, if you have any concerns with the drafting of the order and you don't think it matches the rendition and your agreements, um, at that point, you would show up that day and explain uh, why you don't think the order's language is correct. 